In this video, I'm going to talk about uh, looking at the better buy. Okay, so if we were to look at these uh, four things here, which bag of M&Ms would be the best value? Or perhaps we say better buy. And really that means when we're looking at them, which one has the best unit price? So we can see that the $8.70 is obviously the most expensive of all the bags, but it's also the heaviest bag. So it would make sense for it to cost more money. So in order for us to compare things uh, that are uh, different prices and different weights, we need to have some kind of way of comparing them. And we're going to compare them using their unit rates. So if I was to look at this first bag where it's $3.52 for 400 grams. So that's my rate that I'm going to put in, 3.52 for 400 grams. And what I want to know is I'm going to look at my unit price and figure out what it is per 100 grams. Okay, if you need a quick refresher, go back to the previous video on unit price and you can see how we're going to fill this in. Okay, so multiplying the two numbers across from one another, 3.52 times 100 dividing by the 400 is going to give me 0 0.8 eight dollars per hundred grams. So that one's 88 cents for 100 grams. Okay, let's look at the next one. If I was to set up my rate, it's $4.73 for 550 grams. How much is it going to be for 100 grams? And again, for solving this, go back to the previous video to look at your uh, solving for a proportion. So we've got $4.73 times 100, because they're across from one another, divided by the 550, and that's going to give us 0 0.86 dollars per 100 grams. So even just comparing these two, even though the one that costs $4.73 is more expensive overall, it weighs more than the other one does. And if we were to compare how much it costs for 100 grams, the second bag is two cents cheaper for 100 grams than the first bag was. Okay, so that's what we're doing, is trying to figure out which price is the cheapest. Okay, this one here would be $6.12 for 720 grams, and we want to know what it is per 100 grams. 6.12 times 100 divided by the 720 gives us a price of 85 cents per 100 grams. So right now, bag number three is the cheapest. Okay, we'll look at the last one. Now this one's a little bit tricky because the other ones were all in grams. This one is given in kilograms. So it's $8.70 for one kilogram. So if you remember, before we talked about that K, that prefix K, and when we say kilogram, that prefix of kilo means a thousand. So instead of writing this as one kilogram, I'm going to write it as 1,000 grams. Because now I can take that 1,000 grams and turn it into 100 grams. So doing our cross product, 8.7 times 100 divided by the 1,000 would give us 0 0.87, so it's 87 cents per 100 grams. So the cheapest of all of them is the one that is the lowest price per 100 grams, and that turns out to be this bag right here. That one was 85 cents per 100 grams, and that is the cheapest per 100 grams for all of them. Okay, so when you're doing a better buy and you're comparing them, you want to make sure that your dollars is on top and the weight or the amount is on the bottom. Okay, so we always want our dollars to be on top. If you don't put the dollars on top and you put them in the bottom and you compare per dollar, the way you get your answer is going to change. So make sure that you are putting it in where your dollars go up top. Okay, all I did was I found the unit price for all four items and chose then the lowest amount per 100 grams. And that's how we compare and look for a better buy.